and welcome back, fellow wanderers. We've begun our exploration of Southern California, and we're taking you along for the ride. And how did we end up here? Well, you may want to take a step back and start from the beginning. There's a handy little link right up in the corner. Because this trip isn't just about California. It's about the journey and everything along the way. We left our home just days ago for a 3,000 mile quest across the desert southwest to there and back again. On today's episode, my body breaks down. I just woke up this morning feeling awful. Yet we still find ourselves someplace we didn't plan to go. I feel like I'm in the 80s again. Arcades? All coming up right now. There's so many ways to Hey y'all, happy Friday morning. I think it is finally starting to catch up with me. The excesses over the past few days of just going, going, going. I think the kicker was all that sun yesterday and the salt water. And I just woke up this morning feeling awful. And I think it's because I am super dehydrated. I ain't been drinking a lot of water lately. Part of the whole idea of the trip was, you know, we're going to go get lost in the desert for a few days. Well, <laughs> what should you be doing in the desert? Drinking water. I'm doing a little better now. I'm, I'm on my, this is the fourth one of these this morning. Because, and it's, it's helping, it's working, I'm, I'm feeling better. People who know me know that my little saying is, stay hydrated. And <laughs> I failed. But we'll see what's gonna happen today. We kinda had plans to go down to San Diego today. We may still, I don't know. Kinda depends on how I feel, probably. I hate to say that, you know. I don't wanna ruin anybody else's fun because I'm feeling like crap, but you know what, I'm not gonna push myself. Uh, when I got up this morning and went to the bathroom, I got lightheaded and dizzy and had to sit down in the bathroom for a little bit. It was weird. A little scary too. Yeah, we'll figure out something to do today, whatever the case. Ultimately, we just decided to pile into the journey, start heading south along the coast, and let life take us wherever it may. Well, it certainly appears that all the hype of Southern California is true. A smattering of charming little beach towns interrupted only by gorgeous beaches. And as we continued down the coastline, just taking it all in, we lost all sense of exactly where we were. And that's not a bad thing, because ultimately it took us somewhere we weren't really planning on going. And it was absolutely magical. Well, initially we kind of said we weren't gonna come all the way down to San Diego, but guess where we are? Belmont Park. We're gonna be rolling up on the pier. We're gonna check out all the souvenir -y stuff. Maybe even ride a roller coaster, I don't know. This is kind of what we were looking for, the touristy kind of place, you know? Got the beach, got the sunshine, got all the attractions. We're gonna enjoy the shit out of this. Welcome to Mission Beach in San Diego, California. A place so chock full of nostalgia that it's pulling at my heartstrings right now. And a fine example of the quintessential California boardwalk experience. All right, this is the kind of hive of activity I was actually expecting on more California beaches. Uh, you basically got what I was expecting to see at like Venice or uh, Huntington Beach or something along those lines. It's all right here in San Diego. So don't even need to go to Huntington Beach or Venice Beach now. Of course, everything I've heard about Venice Beach these days says that that's kind of a hive of uh, dirtiness. We'll just say that, that it's a little uh, sketch anymore. Now, before you make an angry comment about that assessment of Venice Beach or Huntington Beach, keep in mind, that's not my assessment. I've never been there. 
But it is what the interwebs are saying these days. Ah, who am I kidding? Go ahead and leave an angry comment. Engagement's engagement, man. This is gonna be fun. You're just chilling on a beach, cause life's a beach. And we're gonna buy some dumb s**t. Cause that's what we do, we gonna buy dumb stuff. Souvenirs, dumb stuff. What? What? Kinda looking for some trinkets now. I think I found mine. No, no. I have no idea what that's about. It's a California thing. I figured it out. It's the perfect tourist trap. It has all the crucial elements. An awesome beach, an amusement park, awesome food to eat, and dumb stuff to buy. And for those of you with sensitive skin, <clears throat> sorry, I said that wrong. For those of you sensitive to skin, probably shouldn't come to California. It's the sound of my youth. I feel like I'm in the 80s again. Arcades? There's still a thing in California. Can you believe it? So when I said that this place is chock full of nostalgia, I was not just referring to this here arcade, although it helps. I'm talking about the overall feel of this place. It took me back to a better day. And the feeling of this place is timeless. It doesn't really matter what era you grew up in. It's all the same, games, adventure, and fun. And where the games in the arcade have changed over the decades, what's considered adventure might be different than it was 50 years ago. And, well, let's be honest, whatever is fun has been subjective since the dawn of time. What matters is you come to a place like this, no matter what your age, you feel young again. This place is a blast. We're all having such fun. The place that I come from, you don't have boardwalks like this. This is this is a whole new experience for me. You're only gonna find this in coastal cities, you know? Well, that was fun. Didn't get to ride any rides this time around, but maybe next time. That's okay. Didn't win any prizes and I'm still hunting for food. And I wanna get some pictures of pelicans, man. Where are the pelicans at? I see pelicans flying around and every time I'm ready to take a picture, there ain't no pelicans. Back on the beach, or on the boardwalk, I should say. Still plenty more to explore. Still awaiting my penguin. Penguins? Pelicans. Take two. <laughs> still awaiting my... Oh, you guys screwed me up. Still awaiting my... Pelicans, there we go. There's pelicans, pelicans. Oh my gosh, I love pelicans. And I'm just trying to catch that perfect shot. And this is not it. Okay, this is better. And it might just be the best I'm gonna get on this one, but I'm just gonna embrace this and call it a win. Pelicans freaking rule. Well, we've been wandering around the boardwalk for quite a while now, and I think it's time that we find something to eat. Something that kind of a snack. My daughter has been preparing a Korean beef marinade for the past, oh, 24 hours or so. She's worked hard on it, so. But still another hour to go north from here once we do leave, so. Just something to, just something to take the edge off. Grilled cheese place, guys, over here. Apparently it's really good. We're about to find out, and I'll let you know. Oh, a grilled cheese place. Should be just perfect for just something small to take the edge off. Okay, so check this out, bro. I got the JD's Melt, which is white bread Korean barbecue beef uh, with caramelized onions, spicy mayo, bul bulgogi sauce, and pepper jack and cheddar cheese. And it's huge. That is so good. That was outstanding. 
Come to this place if you find yourself in San Diego. Wow, today was filled with just about everything I could have wanted to see in a day. Except one thing, I wanted to see the sunset over the Pacific. Well, the clouds didn't cooperate. Now you see how a day that has no plan can just suddenly turn into something awesome? That's a good example of this today. I mean, goodness. This morning, I felt like crap and wasn't even sure I was gonna be able to do anything. Now we're dealing with all this. It's been wonderful, guys. So simple. Well, it's been a fine afternoon out here at the, oh, I forget the name of this place, whatever. It's been a fine afternoon, but it's time to go home. So heading back up the road. Today, we're going into the gauntlet. We are going into LA. A lot of famous people buried here, and there's one in particular that I know my dad will appreciate. <laughs> Tony, you know who you are, said he won't go anywhere near. So as soon as he said, I can't go anywhere near this place, I had to come here. Yep, there it is, Hotel Cecil. This is fixed up. So how's that, y'all? I felt awful, we had no plan. We simply set sail and went wherever the wind took us. And it led us to an amazing time, so keep that in mind as you're out there on your travels. We've got more coming, but in the meantime, as always, safe travels, happy camping, and cheers. Oh, and something you may notice is that it's kind of, this trip's a little bit different. You know, instead of exploring nature, we're doing a little bit more of urban exploring, considering we're gonna be going to places within cities, you know. It's gonna be a little bit different, different angle. So, I guess my point is, you know, it doesn't matter if you're going into the woods or if you're going to visit a city, you can still pull one of these with you. This is your hotel room on wheels. You can go anywhere. We found this nice little park that's pretty much right in the middle of Oceanside. It's comfy, it's clean, it's cozy, it's beautiful. It's our little oasis. Instead of uh, going to national park campgrounds or going boondocking, we're hanging out in some urban areas of California. Should be interesting, we'll see how it goes. I know there's things I wanna see, there's probably things she wants to see. We'll, we'll figure it out. We're just playing it by ear as we go. As I've said, at this point, at filming this, it probably would have been many episodes ago that we've got a long time to just be out here and do what we want to do. And it's a sense of freedom that we have not ever felt, I don't think. It's just kind of, you know, ah, you ain't got to be back at work for two weeks and you can do whatever you want in those two weeks. I like that.